G-O-D, 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 Hey yo, I grew up in a broken household. I was the type, ears open, but keep my mouth closed. Sometime I did without dough. Broken TV on the stand, so I did without shows. Refrigerator empty, moms didn't do much. Me and my brother, we used to share the same toothbrush. Crazy situation. I was born 86, moms couldn't hang. She was on some lazy shit. I was a foster kid, the system was forced to give me a place to live, so they sent me where the orphans live. Things I often did probably seem out of place. Snatch your food out your face and ask a dude how it tastes. I didn't know love, but I knew a lot of hate. Still can't believe all the shit I had to tolerate. Roaches in the cabinet, living in your cereal. I'm from where niggas use the hallway as a urinal. This to my niggas that know about struggling, trying to get paid every day without hustling make sure that you stacking right and what you can't see now you're gonna see it in your afterlife this to my niggas that know about sacrifice stop selling drugs so i had to go grab the mic i'm trying to contain my appetite because what i can't see now i'm gonna see it in my afterlife there's emotional issues stuck in my brain my mother's lifestyle had the kids stuck in the ring there's a lot of love lost so i'm willing to cry not even cupid could change the way i'm feeling inside Back then, suicide, I was willing to die Cause the pain started building inside So I started getting high, man, my soul Probably still in the sky But the hate from it all started killing my high Let's take it back for the second About a couple of summers, man Back to the pain that maybe you probably understand My childhood was crazy like the son of Sam Daddy didn't dance, but he showed that the running, man So I guess I could say she had a hard start Crack had keys so she couldn't make the car start Shitty pampers, I stayed with a runny nose Boogers on my face, every day rocking bummy clothes Let me describe the place where I rest my head Small room, one mattress, no separate beds That's child neglect living in the time we in But I was mad young so I couldn't really comprehend I had a lot more important things on my mind I think my sanity was borderline Man, I was dealing with the pain and the hunger for food. I know I'm reaching out to one of you dudes. Maybe you could relate to having cocaine choosing your fate. Mother coked up, losing her weight. Then when I was like four years old, I was taken away. Truthfully, I felt safe in the cage. But the anger kept rising, so I started hating the rage. That's the reason why I'm raping the page. Then the jokes came in grade school because my complexion was dark. But the color in the mirror is not reflecting my heart. What you think, I don't understand a job for a mother? No daddy, it was hard for my mother. There's many reasons why I love that lady. Anytime I feel down, I want to hug that lady. Remember when I used to move like a fool? You check my book bag to see what I was doing in school? Uh, and daddy wasn't there to hand me a hand. But you helped me grow into the man that I am. You gave me life. I respect and adore you for that. So in the middle of my heart is where my loyalty's at. I'm spoiled, in fact. I'm glad that you gave me your charms. But I appreciate our wella for making my moms. To my single mothers holding on, doing their thing, keep doing what you're doing. This is a beautiful thing. To my single mothers staying strong, doing their thing, keep doing what you're doing. This is a beautiful thing.